Hello and welcome to Color Arts Carnival of Color Spring Educational Event. I am Priscilla Batsell. I am at Expressionist Fluid Arts Studio Gallery in Spring Hill, Florida. You should watch all of Color Arts 15 affiliate premiere video tutorials for the opportunity to win a $400 shopping spree. Enter the grand prize drawing to win by submitting the whole quote completed using all the secret words gathered from each participant's video. There are 12 days to watch all the videos. Submissions by May 17th. Winners announced May 20th. Leave a comment on each video for the opportunity to be included in another drawing for a channel prize for each channel of $50 value. Look for the corresponding links included in the description of, in of included videos. All right, moving on, I am going to be priming the base coat layer for the landscape seascape that I'm going to paint in a moment, and uh, I will list the colors underneath the video. The pan, just refuse, value pack, whatever it was. I'm going to throw some color in the bottom so that I have a base to scoop out of. I'm going to use my pan of colors to dribble. I'm probably going to use my spatula. I might use another tool. So that's the abalone. Here's a little bit of golden maple. I don't want to use a lot because I love golden maple. That's a primary element. Then I have a new misty olive, which is a prism pour. I've been adding art fluid to thin things down and I like it, but it, I'm not sure I have thin things quite enough yet. This is a purely pigment, chartreuse. This is the new selection. Purely pigments. I'm going to throw a few rogue colors in there, like perfectly peacock. That's another purely pigment. I've got some black plum, another purely pigment. The first time I made this sort of artwork, tide pools, I think I was using leftover paints. So if it looks like a mess, <laughs> that's what we're trying to imitate. This is um, Aztec bronze. It's a vivid intense. I've got a little bit of Payne's Gray, which I believe, I'm not sure. I believe it's a, a Vivid Intense, but it might be a Prism Pour. Then I've got another Purely Pigment, Sour Apple. The whole idea is to make things look like seaweed on rocks. I'm going to use a little bit of Warm Caramel, which is a primary element. And some chestnut brown, another primary element. I've got a purely pigments mix of sour apple and vibrant aqua. And I did mix up some gold, which is a purely pigment. And I put diamonds and gold in there, which is a primary element. Now if I'm going to go back and add something again, I think it's going to be the sour apple. I don't know how this is going to work. It makes me nervous. Take my shovel out of the way for the moment. Bring my 12 by 16 back in. That's my edge catcher. I'm going to probably use that in a minute. I haven't done this exactly like this, so I am definitely nervous. I'm not sure this is going to work. The first time I did this, I had a wet background, which helped me move the color, move the the dribbles. And I thought about wetting the background, 
but I wasn't sure what to use. I have something that was a, a clear product, but I can't remember what it was called and I tossed the bottle a while ago. I'm pretty sure it was a Vivid Intense, but... Now I've also got a pan, excuse me, a, a pour cup, and I thought I might take my colors as best I can and put them in there so I could pour them out in a dribble. Secret words are brush strokes of life. That's brush strokes of life. Write them down. Some colors in the bottom. I thought about using a palette knife. And I could, but I'm going to try this first. Take my edge catcher and hopefully let everything drip over to the side a little bit and probably down and maybe up. I think up is next. And the whole idea is seaweed covered rocks. So whatever we get is what we get and then we'll put a horizon line in. I think I'm going to take some of my paint, my dribbled paint, put it across the bottom, let it run over the side, I think I just moved my rocks all the way up there. Let's let everything go up again. And we'll put an island in or something. I want to scrape off my spatula. I still kind of want to try the palette knife. Especially to adjust these strange little lines that I wasn't really expecting. I am going to take my straw and blow my mountainous island down. Wipe my painty finger off. Let this run across again. Because that's going to be my land mass. Grab my spatula. Pull some trees up. Add a little paint here or there, wherever I feel like I might need it. Pop that bubble. Snag a little paint here or there, as I said. I'm back. I cleaned up my area. I've got some Pure Pigments Lagoon Blue. I'm going to use a little bit of the chartreuse. What 
What have I got here? I've got Perfectly Peacock. Maybe I'll put a little of that in there too. This is all just to dip one tiny little card in. This is the Vibrant Aqua. Now I'll bring my painting back. Sands the bubble I just saw and had to pop. Actually, I didn't pop it, but I will now. I could have torched in between. It's not a bubble, it's a thing. And that's a cat hair I just watched fall. <laughs> I want to grab a playing card, <laughs> which is a better, better call on my part, and mix those colors together. That's my ocean. I'll probably use those colors over the edge if I can. Take a little bit of that skewer paint. Now, I don't know, that's probably not going to stay dry very long. I mean, wet very long. Discombobulated. I'm going to throw a little bit more green in there, I think. And I can always add some more paint tomorrow. In the meantime, I'll take that off the card, put it over the edge. So what I want to do is take a little bit of the Vivid Intense White a little bit more of the Dancing Fuchsia, or was it magenta? I'm not sure. Grab my spatula, sands that piece of paint that I just picked up. Try not to ruin anything. Maybe a little more white right on the actual painting would be helpful. Although I really do love that color. But I think I found out pretty quick. So don't forget about the drawing. You'll find the information you need underneath the video. I want the rest of that. be quick. One thing I know about this color in the Dancing Fuchsia is it will stain white. I also fixed up my edges while I was on the break. I think I'm going to put a little orange sun in there. That is my papaya, hollyberry, and mellow yellow. Okay, that did not blow out round, so I'm going to round it out. Now with more time, I could probably be more elaborate about the sky. Change the height of the, of the island a little bit, so it looks less, less uniform. The same with the trees. 
And that will have to do for that for now. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please don't forget the thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and keep your eye out for whoever's next. And I'm sorry, but that was not completely in focus. All right. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. Priscilla out.